All right, I'm bringing it down. My name is Mike Bishop, and I'm an independent filmmaker. I've been here in Namibia for the last week working with the Cheetah Conservation Fund and Arindi Game Reserve on an aerial short film to highlight wildlife conservation. Our hope is that we can raise awareness and promote ecotourism in the region. All right, let's go. Ecotourism is a very important source of income for conservation in Namibia. It's actually very direct income that can be used to support facilities such as ours that work throughout the country on conserving the animals. Nowadays, there's so much competition for people's attention, and therefore it's very important to have aerial footage that provide us a rather spectacular insight into an animal or an activity. The Phantom provides us an opportunity to take a unique view of the animals without disturbing them from being immediately behind them or in front of them at their own level. From what we've seen, Mike's footage is spectacular, and we think this is going to improve general interest in the plight of all wildlife throughout Namibia. Working on this film has been a lot of fun, but it's also been a lot of hard work. Every day we'd wake up before sunrise and try and get to four or five locations throughout the day. When you're filming wildlife, you've got to be ready on a moment's notice to start rolling. The Phantom was the perfect tool for this kind of fast-paced work. It's just so versatile. I can have it in the air within seconds and then moments later be shooting from the ground using it as a hand gimbal to get some really unique shots. Aerial footage, I think, is the most incredible breakthrough. There are things, firstly, that we've never been able to see. The cheetah, for example, a cheetah moves so fast. Over 100 kilometers an hour have been clocked. Their natural behavior changes when we try and follow them. From the air, there's finally an opportunity to see exactly what a cheetah is doing. In the past, the only way that the animals would benefit people is through hunting, which is a once-off relationship. Today, because of ecotourism and because of film, a sustainable relationship has been created. This aerial short film will give people who don't have the opportunity to come to a place like Irundi the chance to enjoy and learn something about this amazing area where they are at home. So what are you thinking in terms of the event? I'm a little concerned about the time frame involved, but even as we were shooting, I was working with DJI to set up the gallery event where we can screen the film. There's really a lot to do without a lot of time, so hopefully the event will be successful. Thank you all for coming today. As a filmmaker, it's rare to get to give back through your art, but I hope in some small way this film can help contribute to wildlife conservation in Africa. The event was a huge success. The film was very well received and we were also able to raise money for CCF through sales of the aerial photos from the trip. It's been a lot of hard work, but I'm having the time of my life doing this and it's really a dream come true. Conservation is never done. You have to constantly work on keeping people aware of the problems that face wildlife. But when I see people coming together at events like this, I'm confident that we will rise to the challenge.